Aloha guys, welcome back to my channel. Mermaid Nina here. Well, tonight we're gonna talk about popcorn, but more specifically, the popcorn bucket. That's right, since my Disney World Resort refillable mug video went so well, thank you for all of you who watched that video, I thought I would do like an ins and outs, a tips and tricks, and even some hacks regarding the popcorn bucket. That's right. So as you may or may not know, Disney World has lots of popcorn. And well, it's really hard to resist because the smell of the popcorn goes everywhere. You can instantly smell it when they're popping it and it's just so un believably delicious and irresistible and all the things, right? We're talking mouth watering. You instantly have to go and get yourself some popcorn. However, Disney World has a thing called a popcorn bucket and well, it just might be the best deal on property. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. So like I said, we're gonna talk about the popcorn bucket, right? So first, let's start with the basics. So yes, this is a popcorn bucket. I'm gonna refer to this one as the standard bucket. You'll understand why as we go along the video. So standard, right? There are two popcorn bucket types, if you ask me. There's the standard, right? It's just a regular old bucket with a handle and a lid. And then there's the fancy character themed buckets. Even though these are themed, I'm talking about the ones that are shaped. So right now I do believe uh, you can get like Lion King themed popcorn buckets. There's a Stormtrooper helmet bucket. Previously they had Mickey balloon buckets. There's always a holiday bucket. Uh, during Mickey's Not So Scary, there was a Nightmare Before Christmas bucket. All of these are really cute really adorable and they can be hard to get because they're uber duper popular. They are shaped and formed like something other than, what do we wanna call this, a, a cylinder? <laughs> anyway, like I said, standard and then the fancy character buckets, but let's get to it, right? So first thing you need to know is both types of buckets can be refilled. Now I say this because there is a certain price and we'll talk about it, to purchase the bucket, then there's a price to refill the bucket, and then there's the course the price of just buying popcorn standalone. Again, we're gonna talk about it, but the whole point about the bucket is that you purchase it for a flat rate, and then you can refill it, and refill it, and refill it, and refill it, and fill it as many times as you want for a certain price, and it ends up becoming quite the bargain if you love popcorn, but here's the things to know. So the fancy collector popcorn buckets, right, the character buckets, do sell out very, very fast. They can be kind of awkward to carry, I will be honest. They are cumbersome and they're shapely, they're hard to stuff in a backpack. Some of them can be kind of hard to like get your hand in and out to so-called, you know, feed yourself the popcorn, but either type of bucket you buy, the themed or the standard, you pay a certain price and it already comes filled with popcorn. Are you guys with me so far? It should be a pretty easy concept. You buy the bucket, it comes with popcorn, and then you can pay to keep refilling and refilling and refilling the bucket, which is a reduced price compared to just buying popcorn in the first place. But let's dig deeper because I think we need to talk about the cost, right? So character buckets usually range between $25 and $30. Right now, I do believe the Stormtrooper is at $25, $26. Um, come holiday season or the specialty buckets, like the one that might come out for Mickey's Not So Scary, could go as high as $30. Either way, it comes with popcorn inside of it already. So bucket with popcorn, $25 to $30. If you choose to go with the standard, 12 to $13. So if you do the math here, these tend to be a little bit of a better value because they, well, they're cheaper. So 12 to $13 for the standard, 25 to 30 for the shaped character bucket. Either way, I personally prefer these, at least in the parks, because they're just easier to carry. They always have a handle, lid pops off, 
It gets filled with popcorn, so kind of easy breezy here. Now, continuing with the cost, you wanna know how much it costs to refill one of these buckets? 225 to 250, depending on your location. So yeah, you buy the bucket for 13, but then it only costs $2.25 to fill it back up with popcorn. And I don't know, this is like the size of my head here. This is a lot of popcorn, absolutely. And then you can put the lid on it, and then it's like a to-go to container, right? You can take it on a ride, you can have it in the theater. Doesn't mean you can eat it while you're in there, but you can literally, you can put the cap on and take it with you. As most of the rides, you know, it's quickly eat or drink and then you gotta toss it out. Because it has a lid, you can top it off with the lid and continue on with your day. But let's keep going, right? So the big question here is, well, is the popcorn bucket worth it? Well, I'm sure you can tell by my excitement and the point of this video, yes, yes, the popcorn bucket is 100% worth it if you love popcorn, right? If you plan on eating yourself some popcorn, but like usual guys, we're gonna do the math, so I broke it down for you. First of all, we're gonna stick to talking about the standard bucket because it is the better value here. So if you purchase standalone popcorn, not in a bucket, not as a refill, just a you know carton of popcorn, whatever their throwaway container size is, it's about $5.50. Now, I said this costs 13. At some places, this is only 12. Some places I saw 13, so somewhere in between. But we're gonna go with 13 because that's the higher cost. $13 minus 550 is only 750. So if you're doing the math here, technically the bucket only cost you only 750 because the popcorn was 550, right? Because if you buy it standalone, it's 550, 550 minus 13, 750. But we're going to dig deeper. Let's say I buy three regular popcorns throughout my trip. Monday I buy a popcorn, Tuesday I buy a popcorn, Wednesday I buy a popcorn and I pay that 550. I'm gonna be paying $16.50 for just three standard cartons of popcorn. Or if I pay for this bucket and get two additional refills, so essentially the same thing, right? I purchase three standard popcorns, I'm gonna get three full containers of this, $17.50. To buy it one time, $13, and then refill it, $2.25, refill it again, $2.25, $7.50. So $16.50 for three of the cartons, $17.50 to fill this up, three times to eat it, right, of the popcorn. It's only a dollar's difference, which if you break it down, that makes the bucket only a dollar? If we keep refilling and keep refilling, obviously that bucket gets cheaper and cheaper to the point where we're like 10 cents for the bucket, right? So that's the math for you here. Obviously, if you get the character bucket, the math is slightly different. But again, most people buy the character bucket because it's cute. And boy, are they cute. But like I said, for purpose of all things, we're talking about the standard. So this is definitely a great value. If you plan on getting, say, three to four refills of the popcorn bucket during your stay, that's paying that $225 three to four times, you basically, what is that, like made your money, right? You got your money's worth 100%. So if you love popcorn, if that's something you think you're gonna do daily, right? Every day you're gonna fill your popcorn bucket, maybe you fill it up twice. Like one time my daughter wanted popcorn, and then like an hour later my son's like, wait, I never got any popcorn, she ate it all. Well then I'm like, well go take it and get a refill. So then he got a refill. So that's like getting two to three refills in a single day. 100% worth it. Again, if you like popcorn. Now, I do have to note this because you know how I'm kind of legal and honest in all these things. In the fine print, it 100% says length of trip. Meaning, according to the fine print, you can only purchase this bucket and use it for the refills during the length of your trip. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, Disney does not monitor this at all to the point where we got this bucket two or three years ago. My daughter prefers to continue to take this particular bucket and we've refilled it every single trip since then, which means we only paid that $13 once and we, we, we continue to reuse the exact same bucket trip after trip. 
getting way more than our money's worth. But again, policy does say each time you go on a trip, you got to buy a new bucket. I'm telling you, as of right now, Disney isn't quite monitoring that. But at any given time, yes, they could obviously change that and start, you know, keeping track. I don't know how they're going to do it, but, you know, I'm just telling you what the paperwork says. But now let's get down to my top 10 tips and tricks and maybe even a hack regarding the popcorn bucket. All right, guys, first trick here, I actually featured it in my summer video, and that is to use a little ring hook. I actually featured these in that video. I showed them again in the mug refill video, so check out that. It's also on my Amazon page. This is actually a luggage tag holder. It's just like a metal piece of wire that actually hooks together and makes a circle. Reason? These are kind of a pain in the butt to take to the parks, but that's where you're refilling the popcorn, right? So the bucket's gotta go with you every single park day so you can refill it. And like I said, the kind of the size of my head. So these are pretty, pretty big. It can get really awkward to take a carabiner and hook it onto this thing because it kind of gets caught with this piece right here because it's wider. So you wanna get yourself one of those metal luggage hooks, right? Put it on your popcorn bucket, keep it there. Don't take it off. Then you keep a carabiner clip clipped onto your backpack. So every time you wanna take the popcorn bucket off and on, off and on, you just have to carabiner the wire thing, not the entire bucket handle. I am telling you right now, it makes life so much easier because everything always gets caught somehow in this handle, it gets twisted and whatnot put a loop on it and then carry it this way. That way you can always have your popcorn bucket with you depending on where you're going all day long in and out of the park. So 100%, get that loop, keep it on your popcorn bucket and you'll be good to go. Next one here is, well, let's say you're staying off property or perhaps you're, you're just not getting the meal plan. The meal plan isn't working for you. You don't see any value in it. You don't wanna eat at any restaurants. You wanna kinda of do it cheaper, right? And you wanna pack sandwiches. Well, have you ever considered using your popcorn bucket as a lunch box? <laughs> Absolutely. Take a bunch of sandwiches, wrap them in you know, Ziploc baggies or foil or whatever you wanna do. You can actually stack a bunch of sandwiches inside the bucket from your hotel room or perhaps your house, maybe your local. Stuff this thing like it's a lunchbox, carry it on your backpack, and then when it's lunchtime, you take out your sandwiches, and then you refill it with popcorn, and you have, well, a complete lunch, right? You got your sandwiches, and you got your popcorn, you're ready to eat, right? Ready to enjoy. So this can kind of be a convenient way to use the bucket to your advantage. So rather than having sandwiches and things getting smushed in your backpack, use this like a lunchbox, Take out the sandwiches when you're ready to eat them and then fill that bad boy with popcorn. Of course, you bought the popcorn bucket and you're like, uh, how do I get this home, right? It's kind of an awkward thing to take with you. Well, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but I'm gonna say it in case it's not. We like to fill this thing up with laundry. Dirty or clean, doesn't matter. Shove the bucket full of socks and t-shirts and whatever you wanna do. Put the lid on it and then stick it in your suitcase. It doesn't take up much more space than that laundry would have in the first place. Another good option here, do you have a bunch of like lotion bottles and shampoo bottles that you're afraid is gonna leak all over your suitcase? Stick them in the bucket. Pack the top up with some clothes, put the lid on it, shove it in your backpack, your luggage, whatever. When you get home, put all of it, ooh. When you get home, put all of it through the wash and you were easily able to take your popcorn bucket home with you. In fact, I see a lot on the Facebook pages per the different resorts. A lot of people will purchase the popcorn bucket and then they'll advertise like, hey, didn't fit in suitcase. Anyone wanna take our popcorn bu bucket? You know, free to grab kind of thing. And I always think in my head, why didn't they just shove it full of their dirty laundry or whatever and then take it home with them? Because they make great uses at home too, right? Lunchbox, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's what we do. I definitely will pack it because like I said, my daughter uses the same bucket several trips. So we pack it full of clean socks 
And then when we go home, it goes home with dirty socks and then we just wash and sanitize everything. So should we keep going? Yeah, okay. So let's say you're staying um, at Disney or whatever for a couple of days, maybe for a week, and you've purchased the popcorn bucket. Don't forget to also pack a sponge. In fact, you can actually take a regular size sponge and cut it in half. You don't have to use a full size sponge, but it's a great idea to kind of clean your popcorn bucket every night. Popcorn is kind of oily and sticky and you know, and it can get kind of full of bacteria in your bucket because depending on how many people were putting their hands in and out, you know, and munching on the popcorn and going in and out, this thing can get kind of dirty fast, whether you realize it or not. So we always pack a little sponge, quickly clean it out with a little bit of dish soap or even the bar soap that's in the hotel room, rinse it out, put it on a towel upside down and let it dry overnight to use it again the next day. In fact, if you packed a bottle brush, you know, to clean out your water bottle with, you can use the same brush for your popcorn bucket. Basically, my point is, don't forget to clean the popcorn bucket. It's kind of gross that Disney refills popcorn buckets over and over again. And depending on where your popcorn bucket's been, Clean it every night, guys. <laughs> Avoid any overly obnoxious germs that we don't need to have. Next question here, of course, is, well, okay, Nina, sounds great. I'm liking the idea of this popcorn bucket. It seems like a great value. I love popcorn. Where can I get all these refills? Well, everywhere, that's right. I don't think they do them at the resorts. If there is a resort that does popcorn refills, let me know in the comments, but most definitely at the four main parks, right? Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdoms, all have kiosk popcorn stations throughout the park because like I said, you're just walking by and you can just smell the popcorn and it's just like eating you alive because you're like, it's only 9.30, I should not be eating popcorn right now. And it's really, really addicting and really, really hard to resist. But most definitely all four parks. You can actually get popcorn buckets at the water parks as well. So if you're headed to the water park, you know, take your popcorn bucket with you. And I forget when it was, but we were at Disney Springs and I noticed that they do popcorn refills at Disney Springs as well. Definitely not everywhere throughout Disney Springs. It might have been just one or two stations that we saw it. Haven't actually refilled personally because the popcorn bucket wasn't with us. But just know, most definitely all four parks, not thinking at any of the resorts really, but the parks for sure, water parks, and possibly, most likely, pretty sure, Disney Springs as well. But they are just great to have because like I said, everyone loves popcorn and everyone's hands are digging in there, munching on the popcorn. It's just a happy family affair, right, with popcorn. <laughs> Next tip here as well, I just said it, you're sharing with family, right? So if you're sharing your popcorn with others, I have a few tips. First of all, it's not like the refillable mug. You don't need to get each person a mug. You get one bucket per family and everyone shares and enjoys the popcorn. I mean, if each of you wanna carry your own bucket, that's between you and your family. We, we share one bucket, right? But like I said, that's a lot of germs going in and out of the popcorn bucket. So to kind of help with that, make sure you guys pack Ziploc baggies in your park bag. That way, when you get a full popcorn bucket full of popcorn, you can kind of dump some out and give each person a baggie of popcorn. This is also convenient because if you go on a ride, you just zip up the baggie, pop it in the bag, and then take it out later. That way you don't have all the hands going in and out of the popcorn bucket because let's be honest, it's filled with popcorn, we're grabbing it out, we're eating it, we're licking our fingers, we're putting our, oh my goodness. <laughs> pour it out in a Ziploc baggie and share and then just get another refill later, right? If you shared it with too many people, just get another refill. Unlimited refills for $2.25. And then, as I said in that Disney mug video, you could actually use the mug as a popcorn bucket. So you could take the popcorn out of the popcorn bucket, put it into the mug, and then you have an instant snacking container again with another lid in case you don't have those Ziploc baggies. So yes, basically, if you plan on sharing popcorn with others, a sanitary way to kind of help that out is to also have Ziploc baggies on you to help, you know, prevent all the hands going in and out of the same bucket. Also, did you know that there are more flavors of popcorn than buttered? Absolutely. So the smell that is everywhere is the traditional Disney buttered popcorn is absolutely everywhere. You can smell it. It's divine. But did you know that in Canada over at Epcot, they have maple 
flavored popcorn. Oh, and it is so good, so unbelievably good. And you can actually fill your popcorn bucket with the maple popcorn as well for the same $2.25. Like I said, some locations it's $2.50, but you can absolutely refill this with the buttered popcorn and also the maple popcorn over in Canada. Now, has nothing to do with the refillable buckets, but I'm gonna mention it, Star Wars. In Galaxy's Edge, they sell popcorn as well, but they sell, well, Star Warsian popcorn. Is that a word, Star Warsian? <laughs> Anyway, they usually have two flavors. One is like a purpley blue mix. It kind of tastes like fruity pebbles. And then they have a green colored buttered popcorn mix, which is basically the buttered popcorn, but covered in green dye. I'm not really sure. But it doesn't appear that, that those popcorn flavors you can use in the bucket. Because I asked my daughter about it because she's the one that does the popcorn, right? I try to avoid it, right? Calories. <laughs> but she loves the Star Wars popcorn. And so I, I think many times she has tried to get them to refill her bucket with the Star Wars popcorn, and that's not really an option. So just know that going into it, the Star Wars popcorn is not part of the bucket refill system. You can absolutely have them put the Star Wars popcorn in your bucket, but you have to pay the full price, which I think is like 650 for the Star Wars popcorn. Either way, just know the refill options here are the traditional buttered and that maple in Canada, not the Star Wars flavors. Next up, are you vegan like me? Or perhaps you have a dairy allergy, yeah? Did you know that the buttered popcorn is indeed buttered? Yeah, it is dairy-free flavoring, guys. There is no dairy in Disney World's popcorn, the traditional popcorn that you know they pop every day, right? The popcorn that you would get in the bucket. I can't speak for the pre-bagged popcorn. I'm talking about the popcorn. They pop, 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 and the smell goes everywhere. That is 100% dairy-free, at least right now as I film this video, and it has been for years, so I doubt Disney's gonna change that. So the traditional buttered popcorn is dairy-free and vegan, but guess what? So is the maple popcorn in Canada, absolutely. In fact, this is where two popcorn buckets will come in handy because we have members in our family who don't like the maple. <laughs> so sometimes I'm like hurrying up eating the maple popcorn so that they can fill the bucket with the buttered popcorn. So maybe have two buckets, right? One for the maple and one for the butter. Or if you don't care, mix and match, you do you, right? But just note that the popcorn, at least those two, and the Star Wars popcorn is as well, actually, uh, is dairy-free and vegan. Again, any popcorn that you get that's pre-packaged, you gotta check the label because I can't speak upon that popcorn. Like some of those flavors are cheddar and that would not be vegan, but the butter, the maple, and Star Wars, all dairy-free, all vegan, which is awesome for us now. Let's talk about what you do with those fancy buckets, the character buckets. This has pondered me for years. In fact, I put it in a video once and I was just like, what do you guys do with all those character buckets? Like, I'm really genuinely curious. I love the character buckets. They are so cute. I just don't find them user friendly when I'm in the park. So I tend not to get them unless I wanna put them on display somewhere in my house. So as someone who purchases the character buckets and the fancy buckets, what do you do with them? Please let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. Outside of the fact that yes, you could use them for random storage of things, right? You could use them to decorate your house. Maybe you have a little display of Pluto and you want the Pluto popcorn bucket. Maybe you're a collector. I have seen some people cover their popcorn bucket with like Swarovski crystals. And then they have like this iridescence like glowing over the bucket, it's super cute. I have seen some people turn their buckets into purses, yeah, so they're kind of functional when they're at the park. But just curious, what do you do with your fancy character popcorn buckets? I would love to know. But for the regular ones, Legos. These are perfect for Legos. You, you, you got the popcorn bucket, you went to Disney, you got all your refills, and now you have your bucket at home. What now? What do you do with this thing? Well. My kids love to fill these up with Legos. They work great for toy cars. You have a little kiddo who loves a bunch of like micro mini machine cars that works great for this. We have several of the Christmas buckets that have a Christmas display. 
I actually use them, um, I store ornaments in them and they're actually in my Christmas bin in the basement, but you can put Christmas ornaments in them. Um, I had a whole bunch of like McDonald's toys that I had got that I set up every year because it's a train. I keep those in a popcorn bucket. So many options that you can use this thing for storage and playtime. Or are you a family who does movie night at home? Yeah, reuse this as a popcorn bucket, right? Take home, microwave some popcorn, make some regular stovetop popcorn, whatever. Fill it with the buckets. Kids are on the sofa eating popcorn, watching TV, and you're re-remembering your Disney vacation. Absolutely love it. So yes, many uses for the refillable popcorn bucket, but yeah, I love popcorn. I try to resist, but sometimes the smell is just, it's too good, guys. But my last and final tip, which is really a warning, the lid. The lids on these popcorn buckets are not the greatest. In fact, many a times have our lids fallen off the popcorn bucket and we have to stop, turn around and pick up the lid. I don't know what it is about these dang lids, but they are not very secure. They pop off any little catch on your shirt or your backpack and they love to just fly off. So just be careful of the lid. But did you know this? You see this uh, little hook right here on the edge of the lid? Do you know what that's for? Anyone? Yeah? It's so you can store the lid on your popcorn bucket while you're eating your popcorn. It isn't always user friendly, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you take the hook and you just hook it around the edge of the handle and it just hangs there. So you're just eating your popcorn and your lid is hanging. When it gets inconvenient is when you wanna put the lid down then it just gets kind of awkward and it moves. But yeah, filled with popcorn, eating. And the lid just kind of hangs on. It's pretty secure. But again, you don't want to flick it too much. It might fall off. But yeah, that is my tips and tricks, ins and out video regarding the popcorn bucket. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. First, make sure you check out my Disney World Resort refillable mug video. It got super duper popular. Lots of tips and tricks and hacks in that one. Don't forget to check out my summertime video as well where I introduce this nice little metal ring. And yeah, let me know in the comments how much you love popcorn. Is this like your number one snack on property? Can you also not resist the urge <laughs> to get the popcorn? Let me know how many buckets you have, what you do with the character buckets, how many refills you actually get a popcorn. Let me know, guys. Share all the things regarding the popcorn bucket. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications. A like this video, pretty, pretty please. And yes, yeah, share. If you're headed to the theme parks with family and friends, or you know that they are, share my content with them, please, guys. I am trying to keep the channel alive, and the best way to do that is for you guys to share my videos with people you know who do indeed enjoy Disney. So as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina, out. Bye, guys. Oh.